worried students at Yes Prep Southwest Secondary, their parents and staff have one very big question. Why? Why was the school's principal shot on campus today? The good news here, he survived and no students were injured. But here's what we know right now. That principal is Eric Espinosa. Sources say he's out of the hospital and back home tonight. The suspect is a 25-year-old former student, but police have not released his name. Yes, Prep has canceled classes for this coming Monday through Wednesday. The man students are now hailing a hero was the only person injured by a bullet. ABC at 13, Shelly Childers has been speaking with neighbors and friends. She joins us live with how he's doing. And Shelly, you also just spoke with his father. Yeah, that's right, Eric. His father just arrived at the home to visit his son. So we know that he's out of the hospital. Principal Eric Espinosa tonight is recovering at home. I've been speaking with neighbors and friends throughout the day. They all have nothing but high regard for this man. He's married with a young daughter. So you can imagine the fear among many who know him in the hours just after this shooting. But again, he is OK tonight, recovering safely at home as students are thanking him for his leadership and bravery. In the seconds after a gunman shot through the entrance of Yes Prep's Southwest Secondary Campus, Principal Eric Espinoza was there. I really can't say Mr. Espinoza is really brave for what he did, and I really do thank him for trying to save us because he really did save us. <laughs> He actually took a shot for all of us, and I really do thank that from him. Houston police say he was hit in the back, a bullet grazing his body. He sustained a gunshot wound to the back. Um, our officers, I'm really proud to say, administered first aid, got him to the uh, um, HFD got him to the hospital. Espinoza, we're told, is back home tonight with his wife and young daughter, his father, paying a visit. We're just glad that he's doing okay. Mira, orale. And during the chaos today, you can hear in this student cell phone video the moments of calm from staff and first responders. Helping to usher more than 1,000 students, grades 6 through 12, to safety. The charter school closing for the next few days as parents and families work through this trauma. Shelley Childers, ABC 13 Eyewitness News.